Canada's border reopens to vaccinated travelers from the U.S. today. Students and education workers head back to school in weeks. And yesterday, Ontario reported 423 new COVID-19 cases, the fifth straight day of case growth. So do all of these factors make a case for mandatory vaccinations and vaccine passports here in Ontario? Joining me now is Ontario's Liberal Party leader, Stephen Del Duca. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for being here. Okay, so let's start with uh, mandatory vaccinations here. You had a tweet out that says um, the Liberals have consistently called for mandatory vaccinations for frontline healthcare workers as well education workers here, uh, while the Ford government had said no to that. Yeah, for sure. Listen, in just a few weeks, uh, the daughters that my wife and I are raising are heading back to school, like 2 million kids across Ontario. Older daughter, uh, yeah, our older daughter is going into grade nine, our younger daughter is going into grade five. And, you know, it, the, the anxiety and the, you know, the, the, the difficulty, the, the brutal year that we all had last year, and none of us wants that repeated. We want our schools to stay open. We want our kids to be safe and healthy. Of course, I want everybody working in education to be safe and healthy. To me, both in education and in healthcare, especially ev everything we've gone through over the past 17 months and everything hopefully we've learned from COVID. To me, this is, this is straightforward. This is responsible, it is reasonable. I don't have a clue why Doug Ford is refusing to do it. I don't know why Andrea Horvath initially didn't want to do it. I've been clear about this now for more than a couple of weeks. It's the right thing to do. Let's keep our kids safe. Let's keep all of ourselves safe. And if there is to be a fourth wave, especially as cases are climbing again, let's make it as minimal as possible. So let me ask you this. What do you say to Ontarians who say that this vaccine requirement will impede their charter rights? Yeah, so listen, this is, this is not as groundbreaking as some people uh, today are talking about. I, I can still remember the yellow certificate that my kids had, that I had, that demonstrated that I had my vaccines, that they'd had their vaccines. There are, for example, registered nurses running for the Ontario Liberal Party for next year's election. At the hospitals where they work, they are required to demonstrate that they've gotten certain vaccines. So, you know, what I would say is, in our plan, we want to respect the Human Rights Code. Nobody needs to lose their job. It does not need to be punitive, but it is responsible and reasonable leadership to say, after 17 months of how brutal COVID has been for all of us, Let's protect ourselves. Let's protect our families. Let's protect our neighbors, and let's do the right thing. And this is the this is one of those moments where real leadership is needed, and Doug Ford is missing in action. Okay, we have vaccine passports and certificates. On vaccine passports, uh, Premier Doug Ford had said we're not going to have a split society. He basically said no to that. What's your take on that? You know, when he said those comments, I was really, uh, frankly, I was taken aback. Throughout COVID, because of decisions Doug Ford has made. We've already had a split society. Think back to those moments where Doug Ford decided to leave big box retailers open while small businesses were closed in every part of Ontario. Or the 400 plus days it took for Doug Ford to deliver paid sick leave when so many essential workers here in the GTA and beyond were forced to go. I mean, this, this, this notion of a split society on this issue when we need a reliable and trustworthy certificate. So there's a level, level playing field, again, so if there is to be a fourth wave here in Ontario, it's as minimal as possible. Other places are doing it. Quebec is looking at doing it. Ontario needs to do the same thing. And again, we just need responsible leadership from Doug Ford. Stephen, real quickly, we have about 15 seconds or so. Your thoughts on the Conservatives' back-to-school plan? Uh, and look, as a dad, it's, it's so disappointing. It tells me clearly Doug Ford has not learned the lessons from last year. Uh, we can't just go on a sort of a wing and a prayer, as the old saying goes. We need a real plan, hard cap on class sizes, more supports for kids with special needs, and better ventilation in our schools. Our plan calls for that. I hope Doug Ford reverses course and does the right thing. Okay, Ontario Liberal Party leader Stephen Del Duca, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Take care. You too. Time now, 8.09 a.m. Steph, good morning to you.